Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel Crochet Pink Pumpkin. If you're already subscribed, hi again, it's me. I'm so, so excited about this tutorial. You can't even understand because it's been like month. I've been like working on this bag. So I'm very happy to share with you this pattern and this tutorial. So I'm obviously talking about this bag. So this this one, I made a, a teddy one version, oh yes, like that. So I called it the Mumut bag because Mumut in French means, means like fuzzy, you know, like it's like a funny term to say like fuzzy, like, you know, soft and stuff like that. So I made the Sherpa one because I really like this yarn but i know for some of you guys it's a little bit complicated so i made the shiny yarn way easier i made the lilac this one i think is my favorite and i made that one as well like that so i will go in details about the yarn right after i got a lot of testers on this bag and a lot of people told me it's very very beginner friendly it's very easy because honestly it's a lot of chains and single crochets that's all you need to know with increase and decreases that's all you need so it's very easy the the only part that is a little bit like challenging is like the assembly because it's not challenging it just is a little bit time consuming like it takes time but it's a very easy pattern if you are a beginner so i'm very excited about that so you're probably wondering how to get the pattern it's very easy as usual i have the free version on my blog so you can go ahead on crochetpinkpumpkin.com and you know like just read the pattern but if you want to make your life easier and support crochet pink pumpkin you can also uh, purchase a pdf version on my etsy shop so like that and you see like you have uh, you have a checklist for the supplies and you also have like every detail pictures and stuff so it will definitely make your life easier and thank you so much if you do so and let's get started with the list of supplies so for the supplies you have a checklist right here i will go ahead and start reading it so you need a hook like that only one hook for this pattern it's a 12 i don't know if we're gonna see 12 millimeter like that so i got it from amazon every links are on my blog if you want to uh, to get this supply and for the yarn as i said earlier i i tried different yarn like that everybody can find their favorite bag and make it so let's start with this one so this one you can see like is sherpa and so it comes from michael's you know the stores michael's is called Cozy Sherpa right here, it's a George 6 and the color is called Oxford Tan. So I think it's a new uh, collection at Michael's and I am obsessed with it. It's like very good quality yarn. I just, I just love it. So Cozy Sherpa and every bags are, um, every yarns are double with another one because to make the bag more rigid can you say rigid like more bam how do you say rigid can you say rigid like solid thick yeah i would say maybe solid you mean oh. like sturdy like it is it's solid you know like it's no, just say solid solid to make the bag more solid you know like yeah so you stay in shape <laughs> so and the this one will be mixed with berna softy chunky right here and you see it's a thick thread so it make a, it makes the yarn like more stiff so um, that's for this one then if you want to make that one oh wait i didn't show you how it looks like with a strap let me show you right now so cute i will tell you later where i got the strap voila so if you want to make that one over here 
I didn't show you the inside. Up, oh, that's the inside. Oh, so if you want to make uh, this one, you will need the sweet snuggles like that from Michael's. It looks like that. It's very thick, shiny yarn. Same thing. I think it's a new collection. I don't know what happened like Michael's, but I think they they needed like to step up their game you know and they, they just came out with a bunch of like new yarns and it's just amazing or maybe i didn't see it before but anyway i before i didn't shop that much at markels and now a lot of my yarns come from michael so anyway so this one and this one is mixed with some acrylic like that to make it thicker and the acrylic is craft smart like that Va uh, value economic value <laughs> so i don't i don't know value is like the name and yeah it was a like very big yarn the judge is medium and i bought it in my calls as well and the color color is like gray uh why which one next this one over here like that super cute i should use the inside like that so this one is the one i'm a little bit the least satisfied in terms of result because i don't know i don't think he like the shape stays very well but anyway if you want to use this yarn it's Sh berna shippy like right here that is like a you see like a a teddy a teddy yarn like super soft they have a bunch of color but i love lilac and i mixed it with this yarn right here it's red it's um red herd soft baby steps in lavender because it matched the color very well so that's the yarn right here uh, i finished it so that's why i cannot show you exactly which one and last one which i believe is my favorite one this one up right here so it's shiny yarn so very easy uh if you want to make it is way easier than the teddy yarn and this one i show you also what it looks like okay. super cute um and So this one uh, was made with loops and thread sweet snuggles. So this one, uh, this one, the color is uh, lavender. The judge is uh, seven, so it's jumbo and it's mixed with this yarn as well. There you go. So then about the strap a lot of people ask me where to get the strap honestly they come uh, from amazon all of them so i chose them according to the color of the bag i show you that one you know it just it, it just my my taste you know after you can pick whatever um, strap you want is linked in is linked on my blog so you can uh, purchase the strap honestly i thought about making a strap in yarn you know like uh, in acrylic or polyester or whatever but in the result can be nice but i wanted a bag that i can actually wear all the time you know and i think in it, it will just be better like in time you know because the strap just start like pulling on and it just starts just looking you know like long and stuff i don't really like it anyway so if you want to do a strap in um in in acrylic or whatever you can do it but i'm just letting you know like if you put like heavy stuff in your bag it will it will just not look that good like in time so you do whatever you want if you want to get the amazon stripe the links are on my blog uh, then you will need a darning needle or wool needle it depends how people call it and white cotton this is to to sew the elements together and white is a color that just match with everything 
and also i didn't sew just an advice i didn't sew the elements with the same because you could sew the elements with you know the same yarn that you use but think about it if you make a mistake and you just want to you know like remove your um the like the thing you just sewed 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 <laughs> the thing you just sewed you you may not know which thread to cut so it's better to use another color like that you know exactly which uh which thread you used so i use white cotton then you need a as usual you know like stitch markers right here you need lap canter a reliable one very important then some stuffing you you really don't need a, uh, a lot because you know it's just to put right here to to create a little bump so you really don't need a lot of stuffing so for the tag um first of all you don't need to make the tag if you don't want you know to make it it's a little bit complex because it's not about crocheting it's about you know like uh, heat transfer paper and sewing so you don't have to do it but i will still tell you how to do it if you want to so you need a old black shirt i mean i got this one it's not old i actually got a new one but you know it's a cheap t-shirt you can find at michael's or joanne so this one i got a excel because i wanted to make sure i would have enough if i kept messing up with the tag so i got a big one so this or whatever black you know fabric you have so then you will need some this so it's called dark t-shirt transfer sheet so it's uh, very convenient you just put it in your printer once again i will show you in the tutorial how to do it but um, so you just put it in your printer you print the tag and then you with the iron you just like stick it on the textile so you will need that um and you will need the iron and a printer oh the type of printer i believe it's only ink jet so it's like the regular printers honestly i think that's the most classic one but check before and some a sewing needle like that and black you know so Ooh! <laughs> black sewing threads like that and i think that oh no last thing you don't have to do it i always use um craft glue in my tutorial but if you don't want to um, to use glue you can sew everything you want so there you go craft glue please let me know in the comment if you have any question about the supplies uh and please let me know which one uh, which bags you decided to make because i'm very excited about seeing the result and let's get started with the pattern so the following video is a visual support for the Momoot bags crochet patterns. The uh, links are in the description box. The bags come in different styles, but the pattern is the same for all of them. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader settings. I will indicate the turning chain with a stitch marker at the end of each round. And the video will show rounds after rounds, but for example, if the rounds are the same for 10 rounds, I will only show the first one and the last one. Enjoy the tutorial.
Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed making your bag. Please send me pictures. I really, really want to see. Please ask me any question if you need to. And I see you very, very soon for a new tutorial. Bye bye.